well, the White Stripes are two piece. How are they doing it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? And then it was like, and it was like Royal Blood are two piece. Like, how are they doing mm. it? And then it was almost just like piecing loads of things together, and then just sort of finding our own way. Killer, killer, boop, 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 podcast. Killer, killer, official. Com. <laughs> THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton, and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp, and street culture. THTC, eco fashion redefined since 1.4 FM, 24 hours a day, all genres. Next FM. Dot co. Dot UK. Beat Box Creators. Killer Cow. And we here to talk about world music and street cultures. Killer Cow. Killer Cow. Killer Cow. Do not be afraid. Listen in. <laughs> get to know the real. This is Macy and Harry of Slobheads. How are we doing, boys? Yes. Yeah, we're Sweet doing boys. all right. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Fucking pleasure to have you on. No, yes, thank man. you. Thank you for having us on, man. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, we love it any other way. It's a vibe, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Where have you come from? Where you've come from? Stains Massive. Yeah. Stains crew yeah. inside the house. Ali G Ville, isn't it? Yeah, right. that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> How's that for you? Do you grown up there all your lives? Yeah, so I was. Um, well, like, not exactly up, Staines, is it? Or yeah, well, you're, you're Ashford, didn't you? Ashford, next, then, next to Staines. Yeah, and then yeah. I grew up in like Hampton, like Hamworth Way. Mm-hmm. And then um, I only recently just moved sort of a bit more into uh, Surrey, so like, I'm living in Chertsey now. Oh, nice. So yeah, it's just all, all sort of around Heathrow, Staines Way. I'm definitely of that ilk because I, uh, I grew up near Crawley. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I know the, I know the area yeah, relatively yeah. well. Mm. You know, I'm very familiar with it. For those of you that are unaware, this is hence the reasons why, you know, oh, oh, firstly, before I go any further, big shout out to Graffiti Kings, of course, inside the place. Um, to the bovine public that uh, may not be as familiar with punk as, as the rest of us, these guys are most definitely doing it. So uh, to keep you guys up to speed without losing any track of what we're talking about, I'm, I'm asking the more simpler questions to begin with because... It's a new fucking audience, right? Here. Yeah, wicked, yeah. You know what I mean? So, Stains is where it's at at the moment? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's a two-piece band, right? It's like you, you both fucking kick ass. I've seen you live a couple of times, and, uh, of course, online it's like, it's, it, it's rife, and you know what I mean? Like, I'm really feeling the energy of, like, the new, the new, the new sound brought in a contemporary punk, what's still defined as punk way. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll get what you're saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's just... I don't know, we just get up there and just have a laugh, I guess. It's just the sole reason why we started it, because it was fun. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, well, you know, I'm not going to stand there all stiff and boring and all that, do you know what I mean? It's, it's fun <laughs> to just, you know, mm. swing yourself about. And, you it's know, not even with the attention of wanting to be punk, it's just doing what, doing our thing, isn't it? Yeah, you know what I mean? It just, just happens, yeah. I guess, yeah. 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 Where did it all begin? It sounds to me like, you know, we were talking just before we jumped in here and the, 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 the overall, the climate of the world, it's like, Hip hop and its culture that transcends into grime, that transcends into all the majority of the Western world. Um, it, it's totally encapsulating in our, our everyday culture. What I love about you guys is like the, the, on intro, it's like you're very much like you're about what's going on in the culture now. You're very much about, you know what I mean? You're up to, you, you're young and you're up to speed and you're doing it. It's like, but when you think of punk, like, what's your take on it? Do you feel like you you you're, you want to bring stuff to the to the name and d- do something that's a little bit more? I mean, I think like punk is so vast, and you've got so many different bands that are all about just so many different things, you know. Mm. And that's so sick as well. Mm. But I think for us, it was literally just like, well, we we met like through skateboarding, so we met up in an event in House of Vans. Like, Macy's wearing a Bad Brains T-shirt, just started talking about, you know, punk music, Bad Brains, stuff like that. Anyway, like, realised we live sort of near, fairly near each other, skating together, and then it was just like, oh, you play drums, sick, I play guitar, let's just, let's just start a band for a laugh. That's so sick. And then it was just like, it just started from there, really, didn't it? Like, I thought you was brothers when I first <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, boys. Not by blood. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Only, but, how long ago was this? How long ago was it you, you guys met? Oh, oh, it's like four years ago, maybe. About maybe. that, yeah, yeah, about four years, yeah. And it, Two peas in a fucking pod. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, mad. I love it. I'm totally curious. Oh, cheers. Curious by the whole thing. 
it's quite funny, like how you went about wanting to put the band together, though. Because oh yeah, because I was like, because I was in a band before, and then that broke up. Because when we met, you was already in the band. I was like, oh sick, yeah, cool, yeah. whatever, we can. You know what I mean? It don't mean that we can't be mates, whatever. Exactly. But, it's like... but then, like, but like, I was trying to be a bit all coy with it because I didn't want to just go up to you and just be like. Let's start a band now. It was just like, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I've got this thing going on, like, you know. So, I just, you know, I'm just yeah. a few. <laughs> so, you know, like, I probably just, still you know, got the text somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it, it was like, oh, yeah, I've got, like, a demo and uh, I kind of need some drums putting over it <laughs> and I might put some vocals and we might play live, like, yeah. something like so, that. So, <laughs> you know, I was like, like yes, yeah, let's get it. I didn't want to be, like, too keen, innit? So I was, I was all <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's just laid back, chill, yeah, you know what I mean? And then, yeah, I had an electric kit in the shed in, like, Back in the garden, oh mate, and um, like <laughs> Macy, Macy comes around. I was like, right, sweet, I'm just gonna get loads of beers, and we're just gonna just you know just have a laugh. And I don't even really remember what happened to be honest. Mate. But we we left with like a handful of songs and just a Russian and, hangover basically. Oh my god, let's <laughs> just say so you, it was a mess. Let's just say we yeah, ended up in a good way. <laughs> Organized confusion, exactly. Let's yeah, just controlled say, chaos, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, we ended up in a Baptist church in Hamworth. Yeah, we actually did. Drinking yeah. beers with the fucking <laughs> yeah, priest. We did. Well, yeah. we weren't drinking them, but we was in there drinking beers, chatting to them, the priest or something, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, because it was like, I was like, oh, yeah, my mate Ethan, he's like, he's up the road. We'll go meet my mate Ethan. And we was like, yeah, sweet. And like, I think it was just on a weekday as well. We just ended up walking yeah, up the road. The and then I don't, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I just remember like, we was just chatting to some geezers and we was like, what the fuck are we doing in here? It's not we're in the church. Literally, like, just traipsed in. Yeah, it was, it was quite weird. That's what I'm saying. It's all a bit like, I don't really remember what happened, but we managed to get there, I suppose. <laughs> I well, know. again, I just think this is like, this is so, this is such synergy. Like, this is such like, you know, when you meet somebody and like this thing happens mm. between like, it creates that energy in a yeah. bit. Mm. You guys have like, so in its beginnings, in its inceptions, it was like, it was a laugh. It was like. Yeah, definitely. Well, where does the writing process start? Where does that happen? I, I, by the way, I'm totally curious about you two. I swear to God. I, it, it's like, for me, it's like, yeah, these, these boys are legit. And it's totally relevant. It makes total sense in the scene. Oh, geez, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's crazy that, it, it just translates in such a... You guys have to check out Slobheads. I swear do it, to God, do, do it, it now. Check them out. Do check them out. It's like, this is bona fide shit right here. So, <laughs> you know I mean, for real, like, so, so skating, and yeah. that's how it all came about. And then you got into into the band thing. So so writing and creating, what's the what's the process what is the actual process behind it? Well, I've always noticed when we actually try and make songs, we can't make songs. No, we literally can't <laughs> do it. Can't do it's, it. It's always when we jump in the rehearsal and we're like, I just have a little jam and then after five minutes we're like, Oh, we just write a song and then we'll just try and do it's, it again yeah, and then record it on the phone it's quite and then how spontaneous, we, like mm, yeah. So yeah, it's just right, like, we just get a structure down, mm. like even if it's just rough and then it's like, right, okay, we've got something here. So then I'll go away, write a few lyrics or something, yeah. and then just bring it back and then try it again. See mm. if it's still, you know, because I think the main thing of us is like, if it makes us excited, then we want to play it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah, not going to make something. Because yeah. we're always like, when we do these little jams and come up with like these little whatever beats and that, we're like, yo, sick, we've got to record that now. We're always really stoked. And then it's good because it's like capturing the moment, isn't it? And we're like, right, we want to do that again and again and play it to people. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. And you've got a good way of like when we do it, you're always just like come up with some lyrics or he'll just be like, yeah, fucking and fuck, fuck, fucking and fuck. He won't, he, he won't, he won't be like saying words, but he, he'll know yeah. what, how he wants to say it. So yeah. he'll come up with the lyrics later. <laughs> yeah. So I think like, I think with songs like Piss Head Ed, that was like, that was like the first ever song we wrote. And it was just like, it was so spontaneous. I love that it was just so easy. No, yeah. thanks, man. Yeah. That was the first ever rehearsal we did when we yeah. come up with that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it literally was. Uh, but yeah, again, it was literally just like, I was just sort of singing gibberish. And then mm. we ended up just forming a structure of it. Mm. And then it was like, yeah, sweet. We could we yeah. do something with this. Like, yeah. That's so sick. I mean, it's still nah, gibberish, it but... It's still gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics on Piss Head Ed, for instance, I, I, I think everyone knows a cat like that. Yeah. Do you know like, what I mean? Like, everyone's got their local yeah. nutter. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, everyone's got that their local like nutter. That is like the neighbourhood joker. Yeah. A funny yeah. guy. Um, the kind of guy that would antagonise the whole bar. Yeah, exactly. Get absolutely pissed. But yeah. Everywhere yeah. you go. They're all pinging up on my on talking. Yeah. So, oh yeah, that, 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 yeah. That, that we, we actually, <laughs> I remember we played a gig in, was it, was it Twickenham, Cabbage Patch in Twickenham? Yeah. Yeah, so we were playing a gig in there and we were sound checking and all of a sudden this just, this bloke was just uh, smashed and yeah. he just stumbled through the door and I was like, 
that's, I was like, that's the geezer. I was like, Mason, that's, that's the bloke. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not even called cool Ed. Yeah, I, I don't even, like, no one actually knows his name. Quick album cover shoot right now. Get this geezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, uh, that's what you should do. Like, do, yeah, do like an Instagram, just piss head hashtags and then everybody yeah. like, piss head That's yeah. true, actually. Everyone can uh, repost their local crackhead and just like nutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. And Is then you could just like, yeah. abundance. Actually, maybe not so much now. Maybe not so much now. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Where are all the piss head heads going to go? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They need the pub striping on the fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you see them. How how much is you know? Actually, I'm going to go to this in a minute. Yeah, this is very Q and A. Like we're not this. This isn't normal for everybody. But I just I need. I, I want to get into the understanding of like when you make, write in the tunes because there's only two of you. Mm. So you've got the you've got the guitar. You've got the drums. When I've seen you live, it's never felt spacious. It's never felt like it's missing. That's anything. quality. It's never felt like. The crowd are in any way cur- questioning what the, the the quality of the songs are. It's like it's real, like effective songs that hit, and you don't feel like anything's lacking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. How do you fill the spaces? How do you f- keep within the I joints? Th- yeah, well, I think it's just like like when we first started, we was like, right, let's look for a bass player. Like, yeah. let's get a bass player in because we think we sort of wanted to, like want it to sort of go more sort of down like a bit of a scar sort of reggae kind of dark like, punky vibe. Mm. And then in the end, it was just like, you know, we're not going to find fucking anyone that's going to play bass. Mm. I so, find anyone, so. Yeah, we, I ended up like, yeah. so it was just like, okay, well, like, how, well, the White Stripes are two-piece, how are they doing it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? And then it was like, and it was like, Royal Blood are two-piece, like, how are they doing mm. it? And then it was almost just like, piecing loads of things together, and then just sort of finding our own ways. And then it was like, it's almost like, it's like an octave pedal. And then from that, that'll go into a bass amp. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. But then it's got a dry out that goes into a split. Which goes so one goes to one guitar and one goes to the other. Oh, that's cold. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> does, it, does it? Does it deal with mics? It's oh my god! Yeah. yeah. But um, it's crazy. Yeah. No, yeah. oh, jeez. I don't know. How you figured it out, Harry. I, I don't know. I don't know. But and then, but like, because obviously it's all it's all sort of progressed. Because then we started like playing with other bands, and it was like. Oh well, well, this band's a two-piece band. Mm. You should play with them. Mm. Bit like uh, like Lee Patterson. Big up Lee Patterson. I'll tell Lee Patterson. And, um, yeah, and then it was just like, oh, sick. So they're doing it. They're doing the same thing as us, but they're doing it differently. And then it was just like, it's cool. It's cool. Do you see other people doing it and then think to yourself, you know, two or three-piece bands, and you see them do it, and you actually hit them up afterwards after after the gig, and you're like, yeah, Yo, how do you do yours? I do mine like that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. It's like just little conversations, yeah. just at gigs and stuff like that. And mm. it's just like, well, like, how, how do you get around it? Yeah. And that's we, the thing is like we actually love bass players, but we're sort of like a part of the crowd that's booting out bass players, so we sort of yeah. feel a bit bad. But we're, yeah. we're part of the reason bass players don't exist. <laughs> they can't join. They don't us. move. They don't move fast <laughs> enough. No, <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you bless them. Um, actually, that's not true. Big up Dave Budgeon from Dub Pistols. He definitely moves. He definitely. In fact, I'm, bassists I'm, are sick. Yeah, man. bassists <laughs> are great. I've got too many mates that are bass players. Donny Soldier. <laughs> hold tight. Hold tight. But yeah, I think that was another thing as well. It was like pushing on the songwriting and stuff like that. Like rather than looking at like sort of guitarists, he sort of started looking at bass players and then how they were doing it and almost like, well, you know, what sort of bass rhythms are they doing under a guitar and yeah, how can you've I... you've think that, haven't you? You've yeah. got to think, well, I'm covering all these things and what do they do that I might be missing if I was just doing a guitar? Yeah, and exactly. And I think it almost got to a point where it was like, do you know what, we can almost sacrifice a guitar sound to push the bass and then that fills up the room a lot better. Because yeah. the thing is, like if you if you lose a bass in a venue, it sounds so flat, mm. and it's just like and it's almost a bit disheartening when you want a massive sound mm. and you just can't achieve it. Mm. But yeah, so, so. it's a scene. Beatboxing has a scene. Yeah, yeah. And we go backstage sometimes. We talk about all the geeky stuff that really shouldn't be said on these podcasts, <laughs> but, but they do. They do. So we're going to go there with this, right? Um, I love the fact that it's a scene. You know, big up Bob Villain, big up Mummy, yeah, yourselves, you know, Love Slaves, mummy. we'll go Slaves as well, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're kind of, they're more commercially uh, uh, revered, I suppose. But uh, Horror, H-O-9-0-9. Yeah, they're sick, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Um, there's so many, there's so many, but, but these are the ones that come to mind. And you all have real cool things to say about each other and you all hang out and that's the way it's perceived by me. Yeah. And I've been to a bunch of shows where you're on, Double bills with each other and whatnot. Um, 
Is it like that? What's it like backstage you know, after a punk gig? I mean, to be fair, like it's, it's always. I mean, we've we've had. <laughs> yeah, it, he's, we, we, <laughs> he's like, he's like, Mate, <laughs> well, first thing I'll say, we've never had a backstage. We never had that privilege to play <laughs> a big okay. enough gig to have a green room yeah. or anything. But, but it's like, always kind of straight the pub up. Is the green yeah, room. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think, like, I think, sort of, like, <laughs> oh, most no, of the mate. bands we've played with and stuff like that, we've always made mates with. And we've always ended mate. up having a connection and then, like, you know, pushing it again. Like, Mummy, for example, like, on, love Mummy to pieces. Yeah. Like, we're Stepping opening on, the Tin of Worms here, yeah, yeah. boys. Because yeah, we're going it. into stories, yeah, right? Tin we, of Worms. Yeah, we've, we've had a couple of times we've been chucked out of venues and well, things like How we met like, Mummy was quite a funny one. It was, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Should we say name? Nah, let's not say who it we was. Well, say names, nah, but but give but it a rough, like, do, do, do <laughs> so and so uh, and. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on then. But yeah, basically, we were playing a gig in Camden. And um, Blackheart. yeah, and I think it like all the bands were going on mm. and stuff, and um, we was all just sort of like, well, there was like a ride us. We had all these like mini beers, mm. and what we was doing was we was crushing the mini beers and then sort of throwing them at each other, and, like throwing at each other on the mm -hmm. stage, like like you know, Mummy was getting it, we was getting it, like yeah. all the other bands were getting it, and then this like Great venue as well. That stage is wicked. It's yeah, wicked. Yeah, it's it's a well good venue. It was really like, good yeah. sound in there actually. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. They got a tur is it turbo? Something they got something. They it's the big speaker, the big one. Yeah, mate, it's uh, crazy. Oh yeah, because there was that geezer yeah, yeah. that did, <laughs> uh, like sort of sidetracking. There was a geezer <laughs> and he went to jump off the stage and he ended up whacking his head on the speaker. Oh, <laughs> mate, <laughs> and just oh, fell straight down and he was like, oh shit. <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So anyway, we're all playing like beer can volleyball, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And then um, the the headliner band went on. And they had a bit of a different vibe and stuff. They weren't really talking to anyone beforehand. Like, I don't know, you know, it was just like, yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, we carried we carried on playing our game of throwing beer cans at each other. And they were like, well, wait, like, like, fuck, no, 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 no. Like, getting sort of really agitated. Yeah, really agitated. And then um, I think our mate hit the lead singer in the chest. <gasps> and then it was like, it was almost like the crowd just halved into like fuck. people that were just like... Mm. What wound up? Because the band seemed to have his, his whole, their whole family and their dogs and everyone, their cousins. And like their mates. Like, and, that. and then it was just like people family. were getting grabbed. They all, like, of course, yeah, they, they all yeah. mobbed us and they yeah. were like, what are you doing and all that? And we were like, there's no malicious <laughs> intent. And it was kind of like the pub versus slobheads and mummy. Because like, yeah. mummy and jumped yeah, in but, and helped yeah, us. Mummy and like, yeah, but they, mummy they like fully just that. jumped in and yeah. was just like... Fair play. Like, and all our mates frosted all up. that. I can imagine yeah. Charlie jumping in. Fuck. Oh, it mate, was weird. But yeah, they literally just got chucked out straight away. And um, I was outside. And then, yeah, we ended up just chatting to the mummy boys after. And mm. just yeah. going out drinking in, in Camden. It was well all right. But yeah, Macy had to go and grab my stuff and all that. Like, yeah, had like, to go, had to wouldn't go. let me in at all. Not really? Like, yeah, yeah. It was well. Yeah. What did you do with the gear? How did you get it back? Like, well, well, Macy was allowed in, yeah. like, just to grab the bits. He ended up having to unload everything mm. out. Yeah, and that, then it was that just... was awkward going up because all the boys, like, the band that cannot be named, they were <laughs> they, they were doing all yeah. their stuff. They were all like that and all that. I was like, yeah, boys, whatever. No no fucking hard feelings and that, like, whatever, like, yeah. no malicious Were they from England? Were they from England? They're from England. Yeah, from England, yeah from England, yeah, right? like Cambridge or something, I think. It was yeah. something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like, they... But it was like a very different vibe because it was almost like, you know, punk band, punk band, punk band. And then it was almost like quite this indie. kind of like indie yeah. sort of Smiths vibe. Yeah, right. And it was like, it was sick. And we, oh, we hang wasn't... on. I think I've seen them play before. Is it? I'm a big Camden fan. I'm not going to say it. I, I'm almost certain. Hmm. I think Mummy had played with them before. Yeah. Possibly, possibly. But I think it was it was for like some girl's birthday and she right. just got a load of bands together, wasn't it? Yeah. So I, I don't like, know if, she, if they're all links. You knew we were all know, links. There was a lot but... of beers that night, but like, yeah. yeah. It was, but, I, I spend yeah. a lot of time in, in Camden. Oh, Camden's like one of my favourite places. It's quality man. Camden, yeah. Love it. Like, it's the only place where I don't care how much the beer is. As long as mm. I fill it up, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Because you can go to all different pubs and it's just, a, it's one and the same vibe, but it's like, you feel like it's like a, a rock and roll mecca. Yeah. And, and, and anyone's welcome. Yeah. It was know, got... It's really hard to... You but I, mean? I remember like being in school and it would be people like, oh yeah, should we just go off to Camden? And it was like, mm. yeah, sweet. So I had to tell Mate. my mum I was in the cinema so I couldn't answer my phone. <laughs> Sneak off to Camden. <laughs> and yeah, just like, you just make buying cigars and just... Make a whole day of it. I mean, maybe not now. Literally. They've closed down most of yeah, it. Yeah, which it's, I'm, it sucks quite, quite a really. lot. If you're going and you're 16, you go straight to that store where boss man's straight selling little away, cigars or single away. fags, yeah. or you buy up like, papers and that, oh, paraphernalia. Come on, you know, come on. <laughs> <laughs> said Standard, cigars in here. <laughs> Mate, a, we I'm need more people <laughs> like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's exactly. All, all <laughs> sorts of uh, marijuana paraphernalia from Boss Man. But, yeah. it is, but it is for sure, like, it's it's slowly closing in on itself. And, yeah, um, which is yeah. sad. Yeah. 
particularly with the, the, the world being the way it is, I mean, I'm, I'm chucking money at Dublin Castle every yeah. time I see it. You know, help fund, help fund. I'm like, yeah, man, I would be spending if I wasn't mm. not allowed in. <laughs> exactly, you know? exactly. So, yeah, it's a funny time for, for it. And it doesn't help the cause of the bands, does it? Nah. It's, it's already, the bands, you know, if it ain't the problem of backline, it's the problem with gigs themselves and the promoters. And mm. now it's like... The venues are now... Being... It's like another obstacle now, and it's mm. just like... It's... Yeah. There's so much going on in the world. It's like, if there's any time that the world needs bands and, st- and like, people to come see them now, then it's now, isn't it? You yeah, know what exactly, I mean? It's like, exactly. Like, yeah. It's any better time yeah. to be having gigs being played, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Do you uh, feel like punk music, or at least your generation of punk music, falls in line with with that sentiment and the things that are going online? Like, have you thought about... Do you, I mean, you probably have. You probably already thought about it. But doing stuff online, it must be really quite hard to, to translate that. It's, it's because you, you feed off the energy of the, the Yeah, the definitely, audience, don't definitely. You? Yeah, yeah. But I think I think with us, like, I mean, we're always doing, like, silly things on our Instagram stories and yeah, stuff no, like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's fucking great. Yeah. But, like, I mean, again, it's just, like, that's, that's what we'd be doing live. Yeah. Like... You know, if if you can't come to a show, like we at least want you to see a taste of sort of what the vibe's going to be. So then, hopefully, it encourage you to come. Do you know what I mean? Like totally. So yeah. Yeah, I would say. I mean, this is you know just an older head speaking, but like the the, the properties of uh, of um, social media now, man. Like, can you imagine back in the day? I mean, actually, any any genre that has a personality that that is like six nine. For instance, I mean, Muppet. Yeah, <laughs> but you kind of want to go and see him because he's made him. You it's, know what it's I mean? weird. Like it's, it's weird crazy. with him. Like I don't know. It's, it, it was. I remember just being like, just literally flicking through it. Like, and then all of a sudden, I was just like, "Who is this geezer?" Like, literally looking like Sarah Show Bob. He's kind of started his own kind of like subculture in a way, isn't it? It's like, yeah, yeah I right. think he started that whole mumble rap stuff. Him and Lil Peep and all that. Um, I think bits, he, no, he, he didn't start that so much as uh, he was part of the SoundCloud. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, face yeah, tattoos yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the only ones that for me, the only ones that really cut it. Do you know City Morgue? No, no, no. Bro, like I'll send you some links on yeah, City Morgue. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, serious. Yeah. they're serious. Check it out. They, they're in that kind of vein of JPEG Mafia and um, and Eight Horror. Yeah, you know I mean it's that, but it's a lot more heavier, more grungy, mm. uh, like rap. Yeah, but they come from that SoundCloud world, and they used to work with Six Nine, and this was that thing. Right. Um, then when that exploded. Him, Trippy Red, and City Morgue kind of were the main three ones. Yeah, and they made distinctive differences with each other, trying to get. But but in been doing so, it's like they kind of created their own personalities. Yeah, mm-hmm. which at a time like this is like, yeah, you kind of need to somehow translate what you are and what you do, but in different forms and different ways. Yeah. that really put across your personality, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely, definitely. No, I do agree with that. Oh, for sure. I don't know. I don't know how. Because you guys are quite, a, you got like a ton of personality and shit. Like I can imagine you doing like some mad fun things, like that become like a regular piece in a yeah, yeah. program. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we're always yeah, like I said, we're always just trying to be busy with something. Like, oh, do you remember? Do you remember Scumbury, Jam? Yeah. Oh, so like the skate park we usually go to is Scumbury, like mm. sort of round our way. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember one year, like, because. Every year we would do like a skate jam, yeah. you know, so the sun's out, you know, just get everyone skating and, you know, just yeah. have a laugh. Um, and then we we was like, right, this is going to be the year we get bands on. It was like, yeah, sick. So I remember I got picked up the generator and all that. We set it all up and it literally just pissed down the rain. <laughs> but, then it was like, but it was like, we're not giving up on this. So we were setting up marquees, getting tarpaulins and all that. Like mummy played it. A band called GYB played it. It was sick. They're from like Adelston, like GYB. So we yeah, big up GYB. G- GYB, oh, big ups. the boys. I'll be on the, I'll be on the radar. Mate, that yeah. One, yeah. Do it. They're good. Yeah, they're wicked. So they've got this tune called Scumbag, and it's it's a proper sing along punk huh. tune. Like it's wicked. That's sick. But yeah, but literally like. It was just, wasn't it? It was just mud, rain. It was literally like mud wrestling, like the mosh pit. It was everyone slipping over. Like there was pumpkins, pumpkins getting smashed yeah. over people's heads and that. Like, and then like, like, and like, and then, like the wind would pick up and like, the wind would like almost yeah. try and take off the marquee. So we're holding on to the marquee. It was like, a little, to it was like a little shanty town, wasn't it? It, it, yeah. it did, yeah, it did. Like, <laughs> That's amazing. It yeah, was it was all together just by fucking Mate, yeah. skin of your teeth. Mate. Literally, yeah. People were still skating though. It didn't stop anyone. Yeah, it was, it was good. Riding about in the rain, slipping about. We're talking about Wonk Unit. 
earlier, haven't we? Yeah, 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 they're wicked. Then they've created a bowl. Well, he's created a bowl. Yeah, it looks so the sick. Studio. Mm. Yeah, How so crazy sick. Is that? Yeah, yeah, it's fucking it's wicked. Not easy to make something like that either. No, no, it's no. a lot of concrete, a lot well, of. We went, we went and um, we've been at Dan Cates's, haven't we? Yeah, and he's he's got one in his back garden in like. It was somewhere in Kent, I forgot. Which which the ball way? Which the ball? It? Yeah, it's which the ball. Yeah, but it was like it was, it was well good there, mm-hmm. like well good. But it was like it's, no, Margate. It's similar to, Margate sorry. Yeah, 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 it was Margate. But like, um, oh, it was wicked, and it had you know, it's just literally just in his back garden. I was like, it's so. Imagine sick, having that. Just on, you walk out. You know what I mean? Your back yeah. door in the morning with a coffee or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'll oh, have a little have a little shred. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the one Kuna one looks quality as yeah, well. Yeah. Like, it's just so you're right, isn't it? It'd be wicked just to have like the the the. the, the it's just having it there. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know just I mean? at your disposal. Like, yeah. it's... I wonder how you drain it, though, if it rains. How do you drain yeah, that's it? the thing, isn't it? Yeah. I was thinking about that. <laughs> the one small hiccup just about it. Loads of buckets, isn't it? Yeah. Bare buckets. <laughs> you got to depressurise the air. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys, yeah. We was, <laughs> we was around there, and then, like, um, yeah, it was like loads of weird little sort of holes in the ground, like, sort of all round the bowl. <laughs> and then I don't, know, I don't know what he was like. He was like, "Yeah, that's that's trying to like, sound intelligent, trying to sound like I knew what I was talking about." <laughs> but he was like, "Yeah, that's to like depressurize the concrete and stuff." And we was like, "The soil what? and that." Like, what? Like, and Dan just about? didn't say anything. He kind of just looked at me like, uh, "Yeah." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> but I think it was just to drain it. I don't know. It might. Yeah. I mean. I ain't saying no more. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be digging myself a deeper hole that I'm already in. So I ain't saying nothing. Right. Oh, just being a dumbass. Right. So, yeah. in, so in terms of like genres and like other music, what, what, what do you guys check out? Do you check out other stuff as well? Oh, mate. Yeah, Macy's quite, you're quite vast on it really, isn't you? I'll be really into my, like, my like folk and country stuff lately. Mm. Like Raikuja and like... Oh, Buddy Holly and all stuff like that's been sick. Old Elvis stuff's really oh, good. Mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Roy Orbison, like, I've been well into all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like Cuban music as well is really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But other than that, electronic music, everything. Yeah, like yeah, Harry, like, like, you love all like, your grime and that as well, don't you? Yeah, like? I, 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 I dabble in a bit of grime. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I, I think. Yeah, but I think mainly for me, it's sort of like you know, that sort of Trojan Records, reggae, sort yeah, of yeah, like Spirit yeah. 69 stuff oh, mate, and yeah. like. And then it was just like punk and then a bit of oil as well. Yeah, it, I love yeah. all that stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah, wicked. I think anything that's like nice, relaxing, anything with a vibe, innit? That, like, that's the I mean? thing. Yeah. There's a genre for every sort of like instance or situation that you're in. Mm. So like it could be, if I'm at home chilling, then yeah, like reggae or like just like whatever, a bit electronic or whatever, like yeah. ambient or something, mm. maybe a little 140. Yeah, we'll be down a skate park, maybe a bit of thrash or something. Like, that's you know, what I'm saying, like, yeah, yeah. A bit of thrash and then like, you know what I mean? Like out or whatever, you want to hear a bit of ska or something, rock steady, you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. having it like... Mate, Mate it's, every occasion there's, there's a genre, you know, we're there's so, so much lucky. music. Yeah, we're so lucky. yeah. Um, it's it, like you say, it's vast, and how can you hold yourself, your attention to just one thing forever? It's like that's mm. a real tall order. Like, okay, you can get different types of metal, you mm. can get different types of rap, but at its core, it's like, like you say, Buddy Holly, mm. Glenn Campbell. Mm. You know what I mean? Some other stuff that they did in the 50s mm. that, 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 that fill like the, 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 the catalogue of your record collection. Yeah, mm. yeah. So important, isn't it? That's the thing. But I think, like, I think with punk as well, for me, it was just like, I'm always finding out about a new band. Mm. So it's like, for me, it never gets boring. Like, the other day, I found this band called Death, and they're like a Detroit yeah, band. Yeah, fucking sick, yeah. So sick. Like, mm. and they had like, yeah, and it was just like, such a Bad Brains vibe before Bad Brains were even about. Mm. And it was just like, yeah, sweet. So I've been listening to them loads recently. Like, right. but then, but like, but then they're, they're different to like, like a different sort of band. Like, mm. they're so different to like the Stooges, say. Mm. You know, it's just, it's so vast. It's just, yeah. it barely gets boring. Do you That's know what I mean? Right, no. I, got, I got into like, um, uh, Cockney Rejects. Yeah, oh, Cockney Rejects, Cockney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oi. And, and uh, you know, the, you know, I'm, I'm, I only got into them because they did a cover of a Motorhead tune. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, I'll, I'll write that. Yeah, yeah. And the next thing you're down the rabbit hole of like all sorts of oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. I was listening last night, I was on Spotify, and I didn't know that Lemmy had like another kind of like rock and roll, more Is bluesy it? band. Headcat, yeah. yeah. Headcat, I was That's listening last it. night. Sick, man. Sick well, stuff, yeah. loads of covers as well. Loads like, of covers. Well, sick, mate. I, yeah, I was jamming, man. So mm-hmm. many tunes. His voice is like, oh, yeah. mate, it's worked. Have you, heard, have you heard their cover of God Save the Queen? The motor had come yeah. on, and it's just his voice goes so well with it. Mate, blah, I'm <laughs> saying, Sick. have you heard the cover he did of um, Whiplash Metallica? No, no but I ain't, no, no. Better than Metallica. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hands down. Because yeah, I, heard, I heard the Enter Sandman one, but mm. I ain't heard the Whiplash one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to, yeah. So sick. 
so sick. Yeah, I love it when bands and genres cross pollinate and whatnot. Yeah, Motorhead was really like a band that that fitted a lot of molds. Yeah, definitely. Um, but nowadays that's kind of like the thing, isn't it? Mm. It's like people. It's, it'd be weird for bands to try and authenticate themselves on an era when there's so much more yeah. technology out there and things to do and like yeah, exactly. bands to be inspired by. I remember seeing um, Slaves with Skepta and I just thought, oh wow, yeah, that, shut yeah, down, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Defining, that's mad. Yeah. And, and I think they played with, uh, was it either, was it Prodigy or Chasing Status they did a tune with? I they can't remember what Chasing one it was. Status. I think they even that did one with Crips and Conan as well, yeah. didn't they? I think, I think they might have done. That Chasing mm. Status one is sick actually. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. quite cool. Uh, pop trivia. Um, I think it's the singer. His name escapes me. You probably know him. He was a beatboxer. Oh, is it? Yeah. Beatboxer first. He was in a beatbox group. Oh, he's sick. Yeah. Isaac, does it? Yeah, 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 Isaac. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was beatbox first. Oh, mad. mad. Well, yeah, no, in what? I don't know what, what in like beatboxing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what, what, no, but what band's he in now? Oh, he's in he's Slaves. Slaves. Oh, Isaac yeah, Geezer from Slaves. Yeah, he's a beatboxer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a beatboxer too. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't even know that. He's from Kent as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're like Tunbridge Wells, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait when did we play down there? Um, I think it was last year. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we, we played play? down there. Yeah, because that was it. There was um, another two piece band called Frauds. <laughs> and they're, oh, they're, they're sick. wicked. Yeah, they're yeah. wicked. Like, they're South London boys. Yeah. Yeah, really wacky. Yeah. Like and the drummer sings. Well, they both sing, yeah. but the drummer is like he's Pick like mate. It's so funny, bars. really entertaining. Yeah. Like it was like it was like captivating. Like it was sick. Frauds. We'd love to see yeah. them. Yeah, frauds. I really want to see them again. What's that band from Australia? Um, punk band. What? what, what the chats? The chats? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're wicked they're as well. Great. Yeah, yeah cool. it was just that, that Smoko song. It was just like it was yeah. so catchy straight off the bat. Yeah, yeah. and it was wicked. But That's... there's um like um Ammo and the Sniffers as well. They're from Australia. <laughs> they're wicked. <laughs> they're so good. Proper go um, Courtney Love vibe and um go in there, innit? it? Or yeah. what's that? Sid she's Vicious just, just guns it. She's just guns it. Yeah, like, it's wicked. It. I love. You see what I'm saying, right? When you get people in that like define genres and and the passion about shit you get to discover whole new heaps of people yeah. it's crazy how much like i'm gonna about i'm about to go in i'm gonna go <laughs> and just like, right i'm gonna be texting you like the whole week going, oh, yeah wicked, oh, wicked. wicked. <laughs> you know what i mean because I, I just love that quirkiness the chats yeah. were great because what happened was they almost like they, they gave you a piece of australia massively mm. yeah, yeah, massively. yeah, yeah, yeah. That punk, yeah definitely Bogan encapsulates their kind of, like, culture yeah. what they're like because yeah, it was like smoker like what's what's a smoker what is that like a fag and it's just like it just means cigarette break doesn't it yeah. it was just like yeah i'm pretty sure after i heard that i was saying that all the time at work so i'm going for a smoker like, <laughs> literally loved it punk is like an international thing isn't it yeah. and um and y- you get these cultural appropriation moments uh, in society where you know it's more important to wear the t-shirt than to know the yeah. fucking the band yeah but that's pony love isn't it yeah, like yeah. It's, it's heartbreaking when you see someone like I think well it's either like Misfits Ramones you just see yeah. it all the time yeah and it's just like what like yeah, See, I mean, yeah, 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 it's all right, especially because it's something like you love, hey, yeah. and then someone's wearing it, and they, you try and have a conversation with them, and they're like, Ooh, like the Ooh. doors. Yeah, we, yeah, had, a, we doors. had a time like that with a mate who was in Weatherspoons. Um, we, we, yeah, we had a mate called oh, Fred, yeah, yeah. and he's and he, <laughs> we saw it, and he, we saw this guy who was wearing a doors t shirt. Yeah, it was a Nirvana one, was it? Wasn't it? Nirvana? It was a Nirvana, oh, one. yeah, just and a big smiley face, mm. yeah, like it said Nirvana on it. And he <laughs> goes, yeah, he goes up to him. Was it Bleach or in Bloom or something? He, was, he goes up to him. He was like, yeah, Nirvana. He said a Nirvana song, and the guy just looked at him. He's like, do you even know any of the tunes by by the you yeah. know what I mean? The band mm-hmm. on your t shirt, like, yeah, he was like, he was like yeah, I love made? Nirvana. That's so sick. It's so sick. We're on the top, and the gazer was like. What? Like, what? Who's Nirvana? He's yeah. like, mate, have a look at your t-shirt you're yeah, wearing. It's shop, like... You know I mean, that, that could mean anything. This could is be... a segment in a comedy show already. This is like chat show. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. It gets fodder. It, it, it gets better though. And then um, he went up to the security guard it, it, oh, in the yeah, weather spoon. Oh yeah, because the guys started getting all lippy thinking yeah. he was starting. So he was like, he was... So Fred was like, my mate, he was just like, oh yeah, like, oh, don't worry about it then, like, it's fine. The guys was like, yeah, I weren't worried anyway, like, yeah, woo, woo, woo. And he was just like, all right, that was weird. And um, my mate had a broken arm at the time. So, <laughs> so rather than just tell us what's happened, he's just gone downstairs and he's gone, oh, yeah, so... Um Gone straight up to the bouncer, he's gone, yeah, there's a geezer upstairs, he's in a Nirvana t-shirt, I'm pretty sure he's short and coach, keep an eye on him. <laughs> and, he's <just> like, <laughs> him. and he's he's come back and we're like, what have you done? And then all of a sudden there's loads of bouncers upstairs, just all just, <laughs> just all eyes in. daggering this geezer. Oh and it was just God. like, he's like, what have you done? And he's just sitting there giggling. 
Oh, murders, wasn't it? Murders. Yeah, I'm pretty That's sure he got kicked out. <laughs> Very rare do I hear anybody challenge anybody with a, with a T-shirt wearing it, but it is, it is mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, really, yeah, it's crazy. It's almost like the, the idea of being like edgy stops at the, the, the T-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Like they want to, you want to feel, people want to feel embodiment of the attitude that was as opposed to be the attitude that it should, you yeah, should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop. Like, it's mad. It's I think dark. the worst example is for Thrasher. Like the Thrasher yeah, hoodie. Yeah, just yeah. Seems six like, to, oh, man, that really does that, mad in. That's crazy. And there's so many, like, um, rip-offs as well, like, in the same font, mm. like H&M make or something. It's just like... But it's just, it's, it's just balmy, isn't it? Because it literally says Thrasher, skateboard magazine. Yeah. Mm. So it's like, it's so like, like even know what that means or what it is? Yeah. It's like, and and people think it's a brand. And it's like, like, I've got to hand it to them, though, because, like, they've kept their integrity through the whole thing. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. sick. Yeah, definitely. They, they just put the price up on the t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then Mate, is loving it, isn't yeah. they? Fuck me. They have put the price up. I remember they were like forty quid. Now they're like sixty or something. Ooh. I remember Ooh. you used to get them from. You get, used to get them for free after a like, year subscription of yeah. the magazine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nowadays it's just like silly, crazy prices. Fuck. Literally. Well, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? And I'm not I mean, paying sixty quid to, to you know bomb mean? down a hill in a hoodie and then fall off, scrape it all up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do about that. Do you know what I mean? But high time, and you know, in a way, in a way, playing devil's advocate, it's kind of cool to, for the bands themselves to, to, to at least be acknowledged as the symbolic thing that they set out to mm. be. Do you know what so I mean? I'm, I'm pretty sure it happened with Crash, and like David Beckham was like on some thing, and I can't remember what designer brand it was, but they just completely ripped the logo off and then just whacked it on yeah. a designer brand. Yeah. But it was, yeah, that, you know, the Crash logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. But it was just like, stuff like that's just mental, like yeah, mental. Yeah. People like, don't care. Yeah, it's Man, <laughs> just mad. It's like, that's thieving, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, plagiarism totally. at its worst, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But that's becoming more uh, culturally accepted now because of the, the internet allows you to just, you could be hidden in mm. amongst the, the noise mm. and you'll see something that someone's done that's only got like 80 likes mm. and if you've got 275 people you suddenly own that right that's that's fucked yeah that is fucked that is like... fucked up you know heaven forbid we say anything that's of an idea here yeah <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know you never know who might be watching <laughs> yeah i mean we see your tea leaves mm-hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> seriously it's like it's got to that point hasn't it yeah we the um plagiarism everyone has a bit of it we all do. Yeah. It's the oh yeah. Design. I mean, well, well, the t-shirts we, that we that we made oh, recently yeah, we, ripped <laughs> off garbage pale kids badly, and then like mummy with Paul Peralta. Like, yeah, it's like, but that's kind of like you. Yeah, it's more of a comical kind of like mm, yeah. you're, you're taking the piss a bit. It's funny, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's irony. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Was it um, fucked? They had the Ford logo. That, that was yeah, the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was the shit. I loved it. <laughs> and there is an irony ones. state, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which kind of works, and it's not. That's not so much ripping off. It's just that's that's. I feel like that's more cultural like observation. Yeah. People recognizing that that's a significant um, emblem or logo, yeah. Yeah. and just kind of mocking it in a way that yeah. makes it cool. Well, it was like that re-up thing, but it's it's Rizla, isn't it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, things like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like. It's so easy to do because people are already aware of it. It's like relatable or whatever and they see it, they recognise the brand but actually, oh, that isn't that. Oh, it says whatever. Like, mm. That's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. and a lot, like with the mummy thing as well with the whole like Power Puerto thing and mm. it's the skull but it's got like sort of mum mm. sort of perm on it and it's sick because, you know, they're skateboarders so straight away skateboarders are going to recognise that mm. and then be like, oh, sweet. Like, mm. you But know, they can get away with it because they're skateboarders. Exactly. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Like it relates, do you know it what does, I mean? Yeah. And it, it opens up the culture a bit more, doesn't yeah. it? It opens up their their um their audience and people are a little bit more closer to them. And it makes people aware that they're into that as well. They're mm. like, oh shit, they, they must be skaters in. Mm. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Which is like, going back to the fresher thing, it's like, yeah. oh, you're wearing fresh, you skate? No, like, mm. dead. Mm. <laughs> do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And it's the same with the bands and the same with mm. everything. Yeah. But, but if, you had the, if you had the currency to do it, would you... Would you happily see a slop, slop head T-shirts being worn, but not necessarily people knowing who's wearing them, who who you are? How would we feel know, about I just, that? I think. I, Have you ever thought about it? I think. Not, I mean, I don't. I don't think we've even thought that far ahead. But I think yeah. for me, if I was seeing that and it was like, yeah, but you don't know what it is. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like, yeah, cool. You're wearing it, sweet. But you, you know, mm. why don't you come to a show? Why mm. don't you like listen to our music? Like, mm. you know. 
Cause yeah, because it's being made so liberally in H and M and yeah, and that's shop. just like and that doesn't go to it doesn't the kudos doesn't go your way, does it? It's exactly. very one sided. Yeah. yeah, I feel that. That's a good point. Buy from the originals. Buy f- buy original. That's exactly. your integrity, man. Do it. Do it. You know buy I mean? all our stuff. You know you want. <laughs> buy all this. St- not bite. Buy. All buy. St- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't buy our stuff. Buy it if you don't want. Don't buy it. Show up to the gig. Yeah. Buy us a drink. Yeah. You know, pay <laughs> the ticket. Um, yeah, it's it's a funny time for uh, for culture. But in a good way as well. You can you can take advantage of those things at the same time, um, like the repetition and cookie cutter approach, in which you, you, even making music, mm. making music or doing videos and just throwing them away without too much thinking, um, like skateboarders, beatboxers, graffiti writers, punk artists. Yeah. Everything has always been with a design of not giving too much care of it and letting it go. Mm. So how, where do you draw the line? Because at the end of the day, it's like it's, it's a consumerist society now where it's just like the first 30 seconds of a song is all they're likely to hear. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is, yeah, which is peak as well because mm-hmm. obviously, you know, like I, th- I think the thing is with us, at the end of the day, like we've played like dead empty shows. And we've also played like big Ram shows. Yeah. But it's like... Whether you're a part of it or not, we're still going to do it. Mm. So you either have a laugh yeah. with us or, you know, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Take it or leave it, I suppose. Totally. We ain't going to shove it down your throat either. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. We ain't going to force you to come to the show. Mm. Well, that's music. It's up to you, isn't it? You like us, you like us or lump us. You know what I mean? Mm. That's it. Are there, um, are there particular promoters, particular venues? You know, this is just mainly for people out there because it's still new to me. So for a lot of people out there, part of the street culture world this yeah. is bang bang in this heart of what mm. I'm about as a, as a show so is there are there promoters venues are there locations are there are there fanzines magazines places where people can check you know like you say you're not going to throw it down people's throats but there, yeah, yeah. there's got to be platforms right yeah, 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 yeah obviously yeah. obviously yeah, but cool. I mean I think that's where we use sort of social media to try and push ourselves out there as much as we can mm. and then it's like I mean we, we've always had Barney's with like promotion companies and stuff but modern age like just before lockdown, they were really looking after us as well. Mm. Yeah, and, big ups. You know, yeah, yeah. And they were introducing us to new bands and stuff, and that was wicked as mm. well. It was a bit more connected. But I think ever since we started, we've done a lot of it sort of our own back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more fun. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Get exactly. so much more result. That yeah, way yeah, we yeah, can yeah. kind of tailor the gigs, whereas with promotion companies, they just stick you with bands that you have no choice with. It's mm. like, without, you know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of have time to research. You're yeah. like, oh, well, I don't really like them, but I'm playing with them. But. But like big, so big up modern age. Don't pay the gig. Mm. Yeah, but like big up modern age because they were really like, you know, I think they knew what we was about and they were like, okay, we know to put you with and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, we we've had it with promotion oh, yeah. companies where we've turned up and it's just like, have you even, do you do you even know who we are? Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? If, if, you've if, just yeah. booked us and I hate that. I, I've, had right, them. Yeah. I've had them. You feel like they've just like, oh, I'm grabbing you and you and you. I don't care what you sound like. I just want to get the gig done. I want to get the money. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. That's, that's, and that's then, literally, there's no. Uh, yeah, and then you're playing, and they, they, you know they're not even watching you. Mm, they, they, like they don't care. Nah. Mm, and it's just like they well, literally don't. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like more than those music. They kind of they they do. You know what I mean? They're kind of like a bit they more. Definitely listen to us. Mm, like, mm, yeah. You know what I mean? They're, they're, you could tell they've had like their life history with music and they're into it enough. They're like, oh, I right, love cool. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I love that. Um, I love your branding as well. You've got some great branding going on. Like, <laughs> do, do, you know, I'm an observer of that. You know what I mean? I'm from an MTV culture, man, where it's just like <laughs> seven seconds of my mind and then it's like, yeah, that's good. Oh, cool. It's got colors. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm that guy, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so, you know, it's, it's, it's really well done. That's, that's an in house. Um, Attention to detail as well, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, Macy does, like, yeah, pretty much all the sort of imagery's mm. been off Macy, really. That's like, cold. So, like, you yeah. guys are really fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll try. Delegation. Ma- yeah, try and think... mash up some Photoshop yeah. stuff or badly plagiarise old <laughs> bubblegum trading cards and that. I've yeah. got some stickers for you, actually. Come on. Yeah, let's see. Gang a lang a ding dong. Yeah. Come on. We're coming through with gifts as well. Yeah. Like. <laughs> These are some of the newest ones that we came up Slobway. with. Slobway. Bang on. <laughs> Slobway. Love it. This is sick. Ain't shit. Yeah. Love it. But like, this is like a Dunkin' Donuts but like, one. How did, you, how did you make these, though? Like... Ragefield. It's all on... Um, well, I did it on my phone on like a kind of Photoshop app. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Mate, I, I mean, it's pretty fiddly, but... 
I know exactly what you're saying, but I do all I do all of my editing yeah. on my phone. Yeah, yeah. People can't believe it. They're like, what? It's like, yeah, man. Like, I'm not going. I'm not leaving that phone unless I have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I'm not leaving. And that's what I the phone to. wants you to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah totally. <laughs> I am totally king consumption. I'm like that guy. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm always on it, man. And it's really hard to to, to, to jump on anything else. Yeah, sometimes. yeah. It's like it's an well, extension of yourself. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? it's yeah, yeah, you get so intuitive, especially when you're doing art. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, like, you find a little quick route. Mm. You know what I mean? A little shortcut. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And before you know it, you're doing that all the time and you feel like a bit of a boss because you've worked out a shortcut. Yeah, but like, yeah. mate, yeah, yeah. she's so quick at it as well. He'll be like, he'll be like, yeah, go on, you have a go at it. And yeah. I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm doing, mate. Like, he's mm. like, he's like, yeah, within, exactly. within yeah. five minutes and he's come up with something. And it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know how you've done that. Yeah, yeah. The most important thing is to try and keep it at a high res. That's the hardest thing on a phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing with the phones, yeah. Yeah. But I don't really have a working computer, so that's like the main reason I've done it on my phone. Yeah. I mean, I've got like a Mac, but it's an old thing, and it's just rammed up with crap, and it just does not run. Yeah, So yeah. I can't... I mean, it's, it's a... You know I mean, it takes 10 minutes to load YouTube, you know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. so many stickers on it, it doesn't Mate. even look like a Mac. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But dude, that's so DIY in itself. This yeah. is like the new first form of punk. It's like just it's grab like, it and work. Yeah, with it, you know? but I mean, like, get I think it done we, by any means possible. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. But, like, we have had mates. It. We have had mates that have done like like album covers before and stuff like that. Mm. Like I think I think our first two EPs that was like yeah, my, my mate Charlie Usher done the first one, mm. oh, and shit. then yeah, Craig Questions done the second one. But again, it was like. You know, we're not just going to call up some random person mm. and get them to do it. We we want our mates to do it. We yeah, all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. want it in house, like, yeah. supporting like you know what I mean, other like the cultures and exactly. yeah, other yeah, bands yeah. and stuff in it. That's right. What well, do you get other bands to do your covers and stuff like that sometimes? Well, we have, well not not with covers, but I mean like yeah, just we, we know people that could like mm, you know what yeah. I mean like, other bands that would be sick that we do have in mind for when we, we, we when we will do like another album and stuff. Yeah, mummy's got Eventually. some good. Old, they're in house as well. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. mummy are wicked. Like, yeah. Yeah, they do smash it. Yeah. yeah, and like you say, it's keeping it within the the scene. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's fucking cool. Do you got do you got hardcore fans like people that like that <laughs> go to every single gig of every single punk band and you see them all the time? Have you got like a lot of kind of yeah. traveling followers? Yeah, yeah. We do, I mean, we they do, come, do come and go. Yeah, yeah. Faces, yeah, yeah. But, but, like, big up Jed. Big up uh, what is it? Ollie. Ollie Ross. Yeah, yeah, yeah big up Ross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ross. Yeah. Jed Wood. Fucking love it. Yeah, yeah. Ross Branton. Oh mate, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so many heads that are just always uh, yeah supporting. I, th I think it's one of their ones you got to sort of phrase it in skate parks. <laughs> it's almost like yeah, big ups Kingston skate park, big up Sunbury skate park, big up Stockwell. It's yeah. all about literally, this, yeah, it's it? true though. It's yeah, all, it's all the scenes. But yeah, Stockwell's quality. We've played Stockwell a few times. Like yeah, oh, yeah, 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 in yeah. the skate park. That's yeah, that mad. was cool, man. That's that was sick. There. We did that That's with Mummy as well. Yeah, we did that with Mummy as well. That's just legend. yeah. They played with yeah. us and Greybrain. Who was, yeah, yeah. Grey Brain, a good, they're a yeah. sick like kind of doom metal band from mm. our ways, Kingston. Yeah, all nice. BMXers, like they're, they're good lads. I'm not sure if they're still Badass. together. I don't know what happened. I think one of them left. No, I seen him the other day. I thought he was. I remember one of them saying that someone left. Like, it might have got. I don't know. See, it's, 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 but, it's but, an internal yeah. scene politics. It's, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> this, is, this is what we love. Right, it's just all about like getting stuck into a, a scene and following the 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 the, the, the movements of yeah. those bands, man. I'm mean, fucking quizzing you for these fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do it, Boys, do it. Got plenty more to give you, mate. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm ready. Like, so what you got planned? What's happening? What's next? Well, we'd like... I mean, we'd like lock do down, gigs, innit? Yeah. Gigs, please. Love we'd like to gigs. be playing gigs. That'd be perfect, mate. But we haven't heard anything on that front. Mm. Like, up from the government and the people that we... You know what I mean? Because we've had gigs, but they were cancelled, and they were like, "We're going to rearrange yeah, them." Like, we, we haven't had heard so anything. Many lined Honestly, up. we had the year lined up, mate, from like every month nearly. Yeah, we it was, was like, literally like at the start of the like, year. Yes. We was like, "Oh my this is the busiest mate, we've we ever was, been." We and then literally locked that up, and it was like, "Oh, dead like." Mate, literally, yeah, mate, honestly, it. I've been there. Uh, I know the feeling. Yeah, uh, give it time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just yeah. a matter of time. I'm as long as you're following them through off the off the back of the unlock, holding unlock down. Yeah, then you should be. I reckon by the end. But like, literally, I think like the same. The whole build up to sort of like lockdown as well, and it was almost like, oh, is it is it going to happen? Is it ain't? Mm. And like we were supposed to be going up to Glasgow, weren't we? we play with a band called Fiends YT. Cool. We're wicked. Like mm. Glasgow's got such a sick scene going on. Like yeah, mate, yeah. Fiends YT. Because yeah, they've got a the whole university scene as well, which is just yeah, yeah. art house which is, kind of venues which, and stuff. Yeah, it's wicked. Bad like, which is yeah, perfect if you're in a band because they're all going to want to come to it. Yeah, I, and I, I've fill up there, the gaps. Bro, I've been there. I've been there and I love going around Glasgow. Glasgow's yeah. got such an open-minded. So like, I've never been. I've never been. I've never been touch Scotland. Like, bro, you'll love it. I'll bear on a go as well. Mate, it's so sick. You'll go, you right. 
I'm going to give you some locations to go to yeah, sure, yeah. after the gig. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, I've got yeah, the dive quality. bars and yeah, pubs. Yeah, yeah. So sick. Best oh, ones. Sick. Best ones, best ones ever. <laughs> Good old dirty Irish pub. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know uh, what I mean? Like, but like, literally, table. like that weekend, it was like... It was like, we were oh, on the edge. Oh, we were like, we're like, oh, we going or we're not. We're right. going or we're not. It was mm. proper like that. And then literally, like on the day, it was like, right, it's, it's cancelled. We can't do it. And then that same weekend, lockdown happened. And it was just like... Oh, shit. They all dropped our yeah. flies after. They didn't know all the gigs. Literally, yeah. literally did. So I think, I think next step for us really, because now things are starting to open up again. I think it's just trying to get into the studio and record. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Just you know, do something while we're not doing nothing. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Right Staying active. Fun, just work on new tunes, which we have been. I think we've got about three tunes that are pretty four, solid. Four? Three or four that are solid that are like ready to not ready, well, very nearly eighty percent finished. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, we have been thinking of jumping in the studio, just getting the next EP like under underway. You know what I mean? Like yeah. six, seven tunes on it. Like nearly an album, <laughs> nearly crazy. an album, but that's crazy. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like we've we've always done EPs just purely because we can't afford to do an album. Yeah, like we, we can't, can't afford the studio time. Don't have the time to do an album and the money. Yeah, you have got to devote like a couple of years. You know what I mean? At least. You mm. know what I mean? Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, it ain't. Whereas like we literally book out the studio for like two days and it's just like get it done. Mm. Just get in there, do it, and then leave. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. it's like yeah, look, like, some of the best albums are done like that. Yeah, exactly. It, I just think for us, it gives us a bit of a sense of urgency, a bit of rawness about it. It's yeah. like, you know, we, we don't want nothing over massively overproduced. No. It's just we want... You want, you want your personality in it. Uh, that totally is what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. Even if you're a beatboxer, even if you're like a, a rapper, like, sometimes people can spend too much time with too much technology yeah. doing nothing but tweaking a snare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so mate. You can, you can just get lost in that vortex, yeah. I bet. You know what I mean? Massively, massively. Mm. Like, but, um, we're, yeah, through, what is it? Fucking, that's it, Fuzz, Radar Sounds, mate. Yeah. Big ups, fucking. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, big yeah. ups, Fuzz, though. He's it, done most of our, he's done, yeah, he, he's, he's done, done all our EPs, isn't he? Yeah, all of them, all of them. Mm. But yeah. Killed it, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a good lad, he's a good lad. Yeah. Looks, looks a little bit like Mickey Flanagan, he yeah. does. Oh, yeah. It's Stop real it. funny. Yeah, no, he does look like Mickey Flanagan. He's got one of those little sex tashes, like funk tash. Just a little bit there. Killed it. He's a geezer, he's a geezer. Yeah, he's a geezer. Yeah, he's fun to work with. On a little island off Twickenham, like as you go over a bridge, yeah. It's a little island called like e Eels Piat or Eight yeah, Piat. Yeah, it's, it's like Eel Pie Island. Yeah, it's but called, it's, it's down the Pat road State. from there. So yeah, it's, it's in it's in Hampton, like Lower Sunbury, but it's well weird. Hampton you, Wick. No, no, it's like not Hampton Wick. So say you got like Hampton Court. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You just go right down the road, like yeah. right down the road, yeah. and then you're in New Hampton. There's the waterworks. You see like Hampton Waterworks and all that. Do you know? It, right, so uh, they're I quite think random. You, it's, it's almost like, like on your like, say if you're like in Kingston, yeah, it would almost be like, keep going right, down. I'm going to Hounslow now, yeah, and then on the way, there's that river. I know it because my yeah. friend Guam, big up Guam, is he he uh he lives there. How is it? I know exactly where it is. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. the little island. On the little island. Really? There's all the little boats there. Yeah. yeah, 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 no, yeah. There's a big old, old... Big up Warwick. He's got some pedlos going off there as well. <laughs> yeah, sweet, sweet. Straight up. Yeah, mate, we might not actually know him, actually. There was a guy we met that was converting an old dodgem into a boat. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Last time he was there. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Is he a similar. South African guy? I can't oh, remember, I can't actually. Remember. He was South African, remember. that's Warwick. Oh, I don't actually know. He's got he, his mate called Eddie. I don't know. He, sure. he, he works. He works on the pedlos with him. On like, like, yeah. There's a big old old um, U-boat hangar from World yeah, War yeah, Two. Yeah. Like massive. Mm. That's like mm. the, really, the that's area. on the island. So on, on, yeah, I'm almost certain this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've right, got to go, like, right. go over a green bridge to get onto it. Yeah, yeah. And they, like, only drive these little, the they only drive these little. They only drive these tiny little Suzuki vans. That's right. It's the only <laughs> way you can get onto the <laughs> island. I'm, everyone everyone owns bridge. Suzuki. I'll have to check this. I'm almost certain it's the same one we're yeah. talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's mad. It's so mad because it's just like it's weird little island. There's all these so weird odd. little weird little vans, and it's just all these like weird. <laughs> They're like, all boat unlocked hangers. as well. You could just open the door and get in them. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, <laughs> but each one's got like either someone lives there or it's like a business. Yeah. You just look through, and then all of a sudden, one of them's a studio, which is Radar Sound. Dude. Is that where, and that's yeah, where yeah. you do your thing? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, I need to introduce you to Guam as well, because Guam's like, he, he, he's got gear for years, like he does yeah. recording. Yeah, he's like literally around the corner from there. That's he's, mad. He always wants live sessions recording and shit. Bang, yeah, sick. Bringing people together. Exactly. <laughs> Sponsored <Unity>. by COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by COVID. <laughs> Like the complete opposite yeah, of what yeah, you're supposed yeah. to be doing, isn't it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> lock -ins, making lock-ins work yeah. since 2020. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>
<laughs> the windows ain't open. We're not wearing masks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're fucked. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> All in like an IKEA opening. Let's go. <laughs> Boys, it's been a fucking pleasure. Yeah, no, Honestly, thank you, man. Thank boys. you, loving it. And if you want to get involved, slobheads, come on. This is Mate, the, this Spotify, out. Spotify SoundCloud, out. all the platforms, streaming. Instagram, Facebook. What? We don't really use Twitter, nah, do we? Nah, we uh, don't do... Stay off Twitter, Twitter, but... But, yeah, yeah all the others. <laughs> all right, see, new generation of punk coming right out of you from London. Right. Bandcamp, Bebo, <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> Bebo, do you remember Club Bebo? Penguin, Habbo <laughs> Hotel, <laughs> RuneScape, <laughs> <laughs> World of Warcraft. <laughs> Whoever you oh, are, ladies and right. gentlemen, make sure you plug into these boys, giving you the total intel. The Do it. <laughs> all right, Killer Keller podcast. We're out like in was out of fashion, all right? Take care of yourself. Don't forget to share pull, and subscribe. Pull, pull. You know what you're doing here. <laughs> you know what we're doing here, all right? Strictly the street culture. <laughs> five man, all right? Peace. Yo. <laughs>